Right then guys, hello, it is your man, I'm Salute Nazareth, and today we are here for an episode of a brand new series which is called Pack-A-Punch, and I've looked so forward to this, it's been such a long time in the planning and I cannot wait to get on with it, and <coughs> oh hell no, I can't do it. Right guys, what is going on, it's your man, Absolute Nazareth here, and today we are ready for a brand new series on FIFA 17, it's going to be called Pack-A-Punch. Well, you know that by the title of the video, I suppose, but this is my brand new... Hello? Hey, dude. Really? No! You for real? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll be right there, hang on a minute. Hey there, guys, what's going on? It's your man, Absolute Lazar, and today... Whoa. I see the state of myself. Jesus. No, 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 I can't do this. I can't bring in a new series looking like this. You're gonna have to bear with me for one more minute, folks. Two hours later. Right, welcome guys. It is your man, Absolute as I am. Today I'm finally ready to record our first ever episode of Pack a Punch. That's right, this is my brand new FIFA 17 series where we're taking one man who bleeds red and blue as you can tell here on my shirt Mwah. Mm -hmm. sorry I got a bit too hypo there Jason Punchin, he is going to be our star man for this series where we are going to be taking a team that I have built on a budget we're going to go all the way to Division 1 gaining upgrades based on Punchin's performance in the matches so what are we waiting for? We're going to check out the squad, we're going to run down through the rules and we're going to jump into a game, just one game today to start off the series. I'm really looking forward to this, so let's get into this action Why wait any longer. Alright guys, so here is the squad which we are working with. Now, as you can see on the screen, our main man is there, Jason Punch and 76 rated Cam plays for my team, Crystal Palace. An all-round solid player, his statistics are all in the good 70s, which makes him a solid player which to build this series around, hence why I chose him, and plus, the name's pretty cool as well, you may remember the name from a certain YouTuber up here, <laughs> but I promise you haven't stolen anything, that just seemed the best name for the series. So, working our way downwards through the team, at the striker position we have Calvin Andrew, a former Palace player, never quite made it as a big league player, but he's currently playing for Rochdale. On the right hand side we've got Wright, uh, he currently plays for Coventry City, 62 rated striker, he's got a bit of pace, he's got good shooting skills so he could prove quite lethal, with a link up of course with Jason Punchin in the cam position. On the left midfield we've got Hamilton who plays for Mansfield, I picked him because of his sheer pace, 59 rated but he's got 90 pace which could prove really good in the lower leagues especially. In the central defensive midfield player we've got a personal favourite of mine, Hiroim Boateng from Crystal Palace currently on loan at Bristol Rovers, a highly rated central defensive midfielder. I've been to see a couple of academy games a few years back and he is a man who stuck out. He is definitely one to watch in the future and hopefully he can do us a good service here. On the other central midfielder position, he is a cam I know but it's Delhi Alley. Now I will explain to you why these players are in the squad and you're probably wondering why are you starting off with a full bronze team? You'll find out in a minute guys. But Deli Ali is there as a central midfielder linking up with Hector Bellerin as you can see in the right back position. That's the Premier League link and of course he's got an English link with right up front. Moving backwards, of course we've already got Hector Bellerin, sheer pace, why not? We've then got Matthew Pennington who also gets good chemistry. He's English, he's from the Premier League plays for Everton, a really good centre back, really tough. Then we work our way across, then we've got Ryan Innes, another Palace player who's currently on loan, 64 rated centre back. He's tall, he's strong, he's going to be that rock that we need. And then at left back, we've got Chris Arthur, who currently plays for Crawley Town. He's also English, 58 rated, 81 pace. He's got excellent crossing ability, which is why I chose him. And he's got the ability to overlap with Hamilton and get those crosses in to the tall men up top. And of course, last but not least in goal, we've got pretty highly rated Nick Pope. In, I do believe he came from Crew Alexandra. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But he's a very good goalkeeper, one of the best bronze goalkeepers you can buy. And then down on the bench, as you can see, we've got the likes of Julian Sproni, who I've picked out because he's my favourite. And lots of other bronze players. Ignore the reserves, they're simply there to fill the hole until we get players through packs. Now, I gave myself a budget of 5,500 coins in which to build a squad. 
all of these players, bar one or two, Hector Bellerin, Deli Ali, who came in packs, were all bought on the market for five and a half thousand pounds. So without further ado, talking of rules and giving myself a budget, we're going to jump in and have a look at the rules for this series going forward. Alright guys, so as you can see now on your screen, listen up people because this are the pack of punch rules. Now it's all based around Jason Punch and his performance in the series. So I'm reading off my computer here. Match rewards, if we win, we get one pack to open. If we gain promotion, we get two packs to open and avoiding relegation also gets us a pack. Now Punchin's rewards based on his performance. If Punchin gets a goal, he gets one pack for us. If he gets an assist, he also gets a pack too. And if he is man of the match, we get to open two packs as well. So I pretty much stuck him on all the corner taking, free kick taking, penalty taking, just to maximize our chances of getting those packs. We are allowed to buy consumables from the market, but from now on, after building this team, we're no longer allowed to buy players on the market. We can open packs, any packs we like, including special packs, to get the best possible team we can make in order to go forward. Talking of going forward, let's go forward and straight into a match. All right, guys, we have found our first opponent. It is Hazy12. This is the squad. He has got who is Packer Punch going up against in his first ever game. That is a pretty mishmash squad. I can't help but feel that this guy has literally just started Ultimate Team. He's got a 64 rated, 51 chemistry side. Gotta stay hydrated, boys. It's business time. Here's Jason Punchin already. He's gone away from his man. Oh, turn. That's a cheeky little dink in. The ball is up. Deli Alley! Oh, he's punching. And he's managed to release Deli Alley. Here he comes, Deli Alley. Sips it across to Calvin Andrew! 1 0, boys! Calvin Andrew with the goal. Couldn't score at Palace. I think he scored like three goals in about 48 appearances. But he's got the first goal for the Packer Punch team. Breakaway, Deli Alley. Andrew's not missing that. It's 1 0, guys. And that's half time. Score is 1 0. Pretty even game. Looking at the statistics, I mean. He's had more possession, but I've had more shots, and as a result, I've had one goal. So, I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to go straight into the second half. We need to get that second goal. We need to keep the ball a bit better, I think. If you can't tell, I like to play passing football. I had a common theme at the moment is to like play um, on the break, sit back. But I'm more of a man who likes to uh, pass the ball. Calvin Andrews here now. Calvin Andrews broken away. He's going to shoot. Oh, surely not. Calvin Andrew. No way. <laughs> I've never seen Calvin Andrews score two goals. <laughs> it's a miracle. He took it on himself. I thought here he lost it. Shrugs off the defender. Pokes it in the bottom corner. 2-0, guys. Good interception. Counter attack is on. Here is right. He's got a bit of pace to him as well. He's referee. Foul. Play on ref. Keep going, righty boy. Back stick. There's... Ah, oh, no. It wasn't quite where I wanted it. I wanted it on Barteng's head. Hampton's already got an assist. Right, punching. This is your speciality. Whip this in. Right on Calvin Andrews. Not getting. He's there. Too close to the keeper. We'll take the technical. Technical foul. Technical foul. I didn't want the break to happen. He's like, no, 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 please do not send me off. Do not send me off, referee. I'll take the yellow. Yellow's fine, ref. That's fine. That's all right. It's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Oh, Arthur's sold in the dream. He has that crossing ability's there. Right, he's at the back stick. Not quite sure what happened there. Okay, that's a good ball. Oh, no, no. Referee's offside. I see. I spotted that. Only just though, we're lucky. I think we're going to need to make a substitution because Hamilton is pretty knackered and you know we can go a bit more defensive now. Oh, I've got Shipui Shabalala by the way. <laughs> Anyone remember is an absolute G. That's the only substitution I'm going to make to be honest. The scorer of the opening goal of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, South Africa during 1 0 with Mexico. Oh, yes. Okay, he's done well there. Oh, no, the keeper's come for it. Where is the keeper going? Oh my god, Nick Pope! Keepers are OP! 
And Shavalala's gonna go for a corner. Legitimate. All right, mark up, boys. No, no, that's Strictly come dancing, I saw you. Well done, Capes. Knew there's a reason why I signed him. All oh, right, chase that righty, chase that righty. Keeper fix his Neuner. Oh my god, oh, I thought punching was going to get there. The shot was on. Get Pui Shabalala. It's still going. Oh my word, this is monstrous. Low cross. Uh -oh. Retard alert. Retard Who missed alert. That? Who missed? It wasn't. Don't tell me it was punching. No, 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 no. That was not Jason punching. I beg. That was a pack punch. That's why it's called pack a punch. It's supposed to score. Oh, punching still going. And he's found Arthur, who I don't know why he's so far up this sub end of the pitch. Oh, Arthur! That is a defender's finish. Cracking challenge there. We need punching to get a goal. Or not, we're just going to go on our own. It's right, 3 0, surely on the rebound! Do I really need a pack now? <laughs> Could we get a rage quit in our first ever game? I don't think so, considering it's almost the end of the game. But... Oh my word. Oh my word. And he's missed. That was his best chance of the game. Wouldn't have made any difference, but... That's a well one hit. Oh, Hector Bellerin. I don't know about you guys, but Arthur's been my man of the match. Oh, referee. Please, he's raped punching. Nah, connection. That's a good bit of play. That's a very good bit of play. Wow, what a... Where's the keeper going? Pope, where are you going? Game over. 3 nil, baby. Oh yeah. Let's go open that pack for winning the game, guys. Uh, so we won that game 3 0. A fantastic result. Andrew getting on the score sheet twice. He was man of the match. And of course, we get to open ourselves a gold pack. What do you think, Pavroy? Hey? Eh? Got nothing on me. And as it's Halloween time, of course, I thought, why not? Let's go and open a jumbo premium gold pack. The screen pack that there's now. It's 15,000 coins worth. Let's hit that button. EA. There we go. Let's see who we get. Let's get a good player. Hopefully, can improve our squad. We are gonna get. It's a rare centre back. Uh, uh, no, Not what I was having in mind, really. What do we have? Uh, uh, wow, 91 pace. Uh, uh, oh man. Uh, uh, quite a big pack actually, I've got player healing, I suppose we'll keep all these, I mean, you know, they're the ones that are worth keeping on there, I suppose. Uh, in terms of players, I don't know, I mean, it's no one really worth keeping, I think. I mean, I may well just keep Carrillo, pace-wise, because, I mean, eight. 80 rated 91 pace. I mean, he could be a super sub. Who knows? So I think we'll keep him. And as for the rest, I think we will place you on the transfer list, and the rest of you can be quick sold. Oh, back up to Lillard makes no difference. 15,000 coins, yeah, guys. So thank you very much for watching this episode. I will leave you with look at that. I will leave you with this. Three glorious points on the board. We won our first game of the season. We could be well on our way to getting promotion at Division 10 already. So thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. If there are ways that you feel I can improve on my videos, then please comment down below. I always check the comments, and it's always appreciated to see your guys' feedback. If you enjoyed the video, however, and that fantastic win, and if you're a Palace fan or a Rochdale fan, especially Cal and Andrew getting those two goals, then hit that like button. It'll mean so much to me. And if you want to check out more content from myself, Check out my channel down below in the description. All the subscribers, I really love getting because it means so much to me. But thank you very much, guys. Until next time, this is Anthony Nazar, and I'm signing off. Bye.